everybody, Ironwood Side here. Welcome back to Let's Play. We're playing Ground Zero, Half-Life mod, released in 1999. Let's get started. Get to the Lambda Complex as fast as you can, Freeman. So we got some good voice acting in here, so... I, I played this multiple times already. Um, trying to get good recording, so... If I seem like I'm rushing, it's probably because I am. <laughs> okay, seriously though, I think it's worth the play because it's classic and it shows some good visual renditions of ideas in the time after the game came out. I know, mouth, mouthful, but uh, let's get to the point here. So, I like this level because you can go about couple areas differently, but uh, it's pretty much repetition. Good easy first room. Um, I'm playing on medium difficulty. I, I, know. I usually play on hard, but um, a couple of these mods are not very, you know, good. Well, they're good. They're not terrible. I played worse, but um, they're not terrible. It's just they are glitchy sometimes. Making it severely unfair when I die from something stupid, so I make it more of an enjoyable watching experience. Enough of my jibber jabber. Let's get to some good gameplay. I hope it doesn't glitch out and kill me, so I'm just going to be saving regularly, actually. Go there later. And... He won't let us in. Because there's no way to let us in. That glass doesn't break. Charge up. Okay, I don't need those. I don't have any pistols, so. <laughs> Die. 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 This is a, this is a, oh, I thought you said. This is some good um, gameplay. It's nothing too challenging, and it's pretty basic when it comes to gameplay. So these, he here's what's bullshit. Um, these both break, and without warning too. There's no like visual language that the level design gives you to explain that. Oh, uh, by the way, the catwalks and sidewalks are broken or breakable. Uh, but I don't I don't hurt it that much. I, it, it's really just um, uh, it's, it's really just um, I wouldn't call it bullshit and unfair. It's just you got when you come into these mods, you gotta kind of expect anything. So I'll give it that because I swear it's better than nothing really. Having something interesting happen. It's not just boring. Why are you taking forever? Yep. Let target range time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get going, man. So, that's not supposed to happen. Well, it is, but it isn't. See, if one of them goes in there, I hate how I'm explaining it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that, they're supposed to trap you in here. And, um, you're supposed to break this. I think it's actually going to close the door. So, let me save it real quick. 
or not. Okay, yeah, it, it will. And it won't open now. Because they're supposed to trap you in here, and you're supposed to break that, then it'll open. But, um, I broke it. Because I did it wrong, but it's, it's not bad. I can still make it in here. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. No worries. I just, I'm trying to explain it a little bit more, because with, vis with audio commentary... I, I can explain the map a little bit more since I've played this one over a hundred times by now because of failed recordings or map errors and whatnot. Yeah, I saw you teleporting. So this is where shit gets real messed up. You, you have to solve this dilemma. Oh, here, here's something funny. So that's a pneumatic door, right? Whatever. It needs, you know, some form of power to open it, right? Power's off, but get this. This is a, you know, normal hinged door. Requires power. Th this door, this this fence door requires power. But this, you know, pneumatic door does not. You know, it's fine. It's fine. I, I, won't, I won't hate it that much. That's a bit of a fail right there. But, uh... I won't hate it, but uh, I, f I find it funny. So you have to take this um, uh, train ride, or oil drum barrel ride. Don't touch the toxic waste. If I recall, I think it instantly kills you, so I'm not taking the risk. So I'm going to use this. So apparently it gives you a little jolt. Not that it hurts you. The damage cap is at zero, probably. Whatever. Pointless talking. It's supposed to be a walkthrough, a playthrough, or whatever you want to call these things. It's getting a little too complicated. Okay. Dead. 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 Oh, well, one more. And I have no hair. Okay. Kick some ass elsewhere. Yeah. Full armor. We're good. What's up? Did you hear that transmission? No. The military is ready to activate the nuclear weapon. Oh yeah, I Gordon, thought it was you must already. stop this. We're close to discovering how to stop the invasion, and we can't lose this information we've discovered. Alright. This will be no easy task, so you will need this. What what's this? You gonna you gonna tell me? What is this? The Goss Gun will help you save us all and protect our vital data, which is 30 years beyond any research anywhere in the world, I might add. Yeah. Good luck, and be aware of who you trust. Some scientists have been corrupted by the military to live a bit longer. They were the ones who activated the weapon. Now go! Go! Okay, stop yelling at me, Jesus. I missed. I missed again. Suck at this. Dead. 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 Yeah. I hate this gun. Well, it, since they don't give you ammo for the rest of the mod, so might as well use it all now, which I already did. My power. Your power. Okay. I never, I, I never checked this area back when I finished. So oh, let's, let's go through. Let's continue with the action pack. Oh, dead. Ow, bitch. Stupid heck. Oh, God. Perfect. Ooh, laser teleport. I heard about these. They're fancy. So we're moving on to Zen, or whatever dimension they call it in this mod, which I'm pretty sure it's Zen, because this one stays true to somewhat of uh, the Half-Life lore, I think. But, um, there's not a lot of visual, I mean, not, well, visual, and, uh, you know, literal. This game doesn't really I mean, this map for these maps by the creator doesn't really tell you how to move on to certain areas. Like, for example, 
I was stuck on this area for quite a while trying to figure out how to get past these purple spikes. And it turns out it's pretty simple. Bam. Bam. Oh. Come on. Bam. 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 It, you shoot the lights. I, I wouldn't think that in a million years, but that's how you do it. It was on accident, too, because I'm like, I was trying to do everything you possibly can to possibly proceed. And I just shot the light and it boomed, so, okay. The voice acting is on key, though. I like it. This is hell. These aliens will destroy us. What's that you say? A nuclear bomb? Well, if I ever get back to Earth, I'll help you find and disarm it. Last I heard, the Lambda team is working on a way to contain the invasion. And if a nuke detonates, the information they have discovered will be lost. Good luck, Gordon. That is some good voice acting. Like, I don't know why, but that reminds me of the original voice actor for Barney. Let's go. We're running out of time. Jeez, man. That, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's cool. I like it. Oh, God. Didn't reload. Nice. You haven't landed yet. Okay. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Fine. I'll stay here and try to hold off the aliens. Let's go. We're gonna go, man. Come on. Fine. Don't go. Okay. It's it, there's a shield. So we gotta gotta figure out where to go, and it's down here. And if you use the jump pad appropriately, you can ease right down. Don't touch this chemical bath. It's terrible. It does like not an insta kill, but it's like it's pretty much half a life of worth of damage, and it's bullshit because you can slip in it on accident. Which I know because I fell in it multiple times while recording. So I was trying to rush through it. It's pretty embarrassing. So it's a force field, not a, a barrier. I don't, I don't know what I tried to call it. But, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, the level design's original. It's not like... For Half-Life, it's pretty cool. I don't I don't need a high polish, fancy detailed level. If I, if it's just basic, interesting geometry, I'll 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 love it. So teleporting back to the overworld of Earth. And I don't know if it's Black Mesa anymore, but uh, it's somewhere, a warehouse or something. Oh, sweet. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh. You're good. Any more of ya? Is that it? That's it. Um, does this break? I don't want to try because that's to the ear of Oh, I don't need to do that. Still pretty good so far. This is one of the longer ones. Well, not soup, actually, I can't say that. There's way longer ones on my list of to-do. Uh, this one's long for its build quality, I guess I can say. Uh, I missed them by a hair. Uh, but, as I was saying, it's a little bit longer for its build quality. Like, it's not, like, super fancy. But it's still worth my time, I believe. Yeah, that took almost all my health. <laughs> oh god, I fucked myself. Okay, we're back. And I'm gonna do it right this time. There we go. Hey, come on, buddy. I hear something. What? Yeah, no shit. You hear me. Electrical circuits across the base of the nuclear silo. Time is short, but if you hurry, you can disarm the fire. I got you, man. Tired of these shitheads. Let's go! Disarm this nuclear warhead. 
getting started to do something. get you stuck in it. So... That's embarrassing. I don't have any, like... I don't have any, like, normal means of, like, precision shooting. I only have, you know, shotguns and SMGs. Like, they don't give you a Glock or a pistol this whole one, so... So we're supposed to get in that air vent right there. Oh, th there's the Goss ammo. I was getting worried. I can actually use it now. Yeah, you have to get in the air vent to catch this. There's a laser in there. I might as well show you. Waste more time. There's a laser. This laser is not a trip, uh, not a trip mine. It's not even, uh, a laser sensor for the turrets. It's just the <laughs> It'll, it'll just, it'll just kill you. Instantly. There's no... It doesn't, there's no language in the level or any character to tell you that it does. But, uh, it kills you. You have to press this not very obvious button, and it'll deactivate the laser. What's up? I suspected this could happen, well, I, I could, but I the administrator see. just would it not listen. through you. <laughs> oh, Microsoft. We, mm -hmm, never mind. I'm gonna stop right there. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. See, that's not. Hey! Fuck off! Oh. It's not your uh, turret laser. It's your deadly laser. It kills you. Well, let's get some action up in here. Oh crap! We have a timer. I forgot. I need some armor first. Yeah, it's all me. Uh, at first, I thought you needed two scientists for this, but it turns out you can actually do it yourself. So I'm trying to figure out, I don't want to press fire, but you, you go in the control and you beat the shit out of it. Shut down, secure. And that's the end of the, that's the end of uh, this mod, actually. Um, it's a good mod. Uh, about four out of ten, maybe. It's pretty good. Um, but that's the, that's the end of this one. Uh, I'll come up with more episodes and more mods. I got a whole list to go through, dated by year. So, um, I'll come up with another video soon.